Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself. And happy Meatless Monday. In uh, this episode, I uh, wanted to retouch on something that I think is very important, especially for vegans, to, um, to understand. Um, and I've mentioned it before. Um, I've... Uh, haven't really gotten hard into into one of the specific reasons of it, but I've I've definitely mentioned the topic before in general, and um, that is the effects of low fat dieting, um, and specifically uh, low fat dieting in this case in this episode on hormone levels in both men and women. Now. Um, I've got some notes, so bear with me as I go uh, as I go through them here. But um, the reason why I'm addressing this to vegans really is that um, there's a real trend of low-fat dieting uh, being pushed by these doctors who I like to dub as the fat scare doctors, um, and also by vegan fad diets such as. Uh, 80 10 10 and other diets that really don't have any kind of peer-reviewed um, research to back them up in the biomedical community um, and uh, these diets are just um, you know low-fat diets are just really uh, bad for hormones and, and even overall health and that's in both genders uh, male and female um, however, in this episode, as I was saying, I really wanted to just address the uh, hormone issues that are going to arise from low-fat dieting. Um, low hormone levels, especially testosterone, can poorly affect your performance, your strength, your sleep, your sex drive, body composition, etc., etc. And uh, at the top of the screen, there's an article that um, will be linked um, if you allow pop-ups, that is, in all these videos, I want to put a little note out there. Uh, they're pop-up, they're like, they're pop-up URLs, so allow pop-ups. Um, and that pay, and that article, uh, which also has cited references as well, further references and further reading, um, explains, um, at least in the case of testosterone, how important it is to all of those, uh, those mentioned, um, activities and and qualities of life now um i'm sure everybody out there this is something i also really want to address because it's people don't really use critical thinking and that's just really really sad um they don't know how to use reasoning skills but um i'm sure everybody knows someone who claims that their testosterone levels are fine and they've consumed a low-fat diet for x number of years whatever and perhaps they uh, they even presented lab results to such an end. But this is personal anecdote. I need to emphasize that it's not a valid supportive argument. It's personal anecdote. And the reason for that is, is that we have to take their word on it. We have to accept it purely on faith because there were no controls in place. Um, you know, it wasn't a proper experiment. So it is just anecdote it's personal it's personal anecdote and it's not a supportive argument for something um for example um uh to use another example um you know we have enough research to show that smoking can cause lung cancer and a myriad other maladies but there's always someone who has claimed to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day for years and they've lived to 100 something that's a perfect example of anecdote, and it should never be used as a justification for you to take up a poor habit or continue an existing one. So I, I wanted to put that out there uh, because I think that's very important to note. Um, but anyway, on to the hormone levels and, uh, and low-fat diets. When compared to a diet with the same number of calories in one piece of research, uh, a low-fat diet, in other words, in this, in this particular scenario, it was a diet with less than 20% of calories from fat. And high fiber was significant, showed significant decreases in serum hormone levels in men. And that included total testosterone, free testosterone, DHT, etc. 
And, and again, that was when comparing a low-fat, high-fiber diet and by low fat in this situation, it was less than 20% of calories for fat versus uh, a standard diet with the same number of calories. And the link to that study will appear at the top of the screen. Um, and it's not just in men. I, I, wanna, I wanna continue here that um, in another study, uh, healthy pre-menopausal women who consumed a low fat diet which in this case was less than 20% of calories uh, from fat, um, showed uh, lowered both lowered testosterone and estrogen levels. And this was, also, this was also associated with a drop in cholesterol. And of course, that study will be linked to the top of the screen up there as well. And I want to put out there as, an, as another note um, that cholesterol assists with both the vitamin D production and hormone production in men and women. So, um, you know, you might, might think that like, oh, there was lower cholesterol levels, but you have to bear in mind the role the cholesterol plays in the body too. You do need cholesterol. Um, so, uh, and that of course, there's another link that'll appear in the top of the screen, um, regarding, uh, it's a Harvard link regarding cholesterol and those, uh, and what I just mentioned with vitamin D and, uh, and hormone production. So as you can see, in both men and women, generally speaking, it was a diet where less than about 20% of calories came from fat. And that was when compared to a, the same caloric diet uh, with a higher um, amount of fat present um, in both men and women. And you can see that it affects um, your hormone levels. Uh, and, and as I mentioned before, how what, what lowering those hormone levels can do um, to a person's uh, performance, to their body composition, their health in general. So um, really that's all I have to say there. I really just thought this was an important topic to address. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit beat today, so I hope that uh, this, uh, this video is coherent enough. Um, if you have any comments on the matter or would like to discuss this further, please drop them below, as always. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys on Friday for a new regularly scheduled episode. Uh, until then, stay fit, stay formidable, and stay fantastic. I'll see you around.